Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Since I don't have any Wi-Fi, I've been reading through my... Um, this is what I now put the, put the messages in that the Lord gives me. But at one time, I used to write prayers in it. Like a journal, but I was talking to the Lord in it. And I just... All right, I'm speechless, okay. I've been like, really, I did that? I said that? I did that? <laughs> anyway, back on February 27th in 2011, this was before I started getting messages from the Lord, I've got this written. I'm going to read it to you. God gave me an illustration today. I was sitting here thinking about when I used to belong to a Southern Baptist church and how they believe, quote, once saved, always saved. That was one of the first things I learned in the Sunday school class my husband and I joined. we just gotten married, so we were in the young marrieds class, although we were the oldest ones there. We were just barely <laughs> young enough to be in it. But anyway, a lady, I remember asking, why is it y'all believe in this once saved, always saved? Can you explain that? And our friend was the teacher, and he said a couple lines, I don't remember, but um, one of the ladies during the rest of the class was busy looking up scriptures and writing me a list. And after the class, she handed me a list. Okay. So it says, a lady gave me a list of scriptures to back this up. But as I thought about how those scriptures did seem to back that point of theology up, I remembered the ones that do not. I started to say something to God about her. Oh, <laughs> about how his word is sometimes contradictory. And this is what came to my mind. So maybe I was starting to hear from the Lord and didn't realize it. The word of God has to be read and understood as a whole lesson. Compare it to a chocolate chip cookie. If you cut up a chocolate chip cookie and pulled out all the chocolate chips and fed them to a blindfolded person, they would tell you this was a chocolate cookie. Well, they would probably tell you this is chocolate candy, but that's what I have written, a chocolate cookie. But if you fed all the rest of it, to a different blindfolded person, they would taste less sweetness, more of the baking powder taste, which is bitter, and part of it may even be crunchy and harder to swallow than a creamy, smooth, sweet chocolate chip. The scriptures that deal with the love of God and His Son Jesus are like the chocolate chips, all good, showing his love for us, how we are saved by grace, how he forgives, etc., etc. But the less sweet, harder to swallow pieces represent the word that tells us we have to forgive we have to love one another. Faith without works is dead, etc., etc. The entire cookie has to be eaten in order for it to be understood that it is a chocolate chip cookie. And the sweetness of the chocolate balances out the far less sweetness of the cookie crunchy part. The entire Word of God must be studied and followed 
if we are to be obedient to the Father and serve Him as He desires. We simply cannot pick out the sweet scriptures and forego the rest. We must consume it all. We must consume it all. Jesus is the Word. He is our bread of life. I thought, how cool. And that I have in quotes, bread of life. That comes right from the Word of God, that He is the bread. And I thought, I have got to make a video of that. That was way back 2011. I thought you might enjoy that. But isn't that the truth? How some like to pick out the scriptures about grace and mercy and forgiveness and God is love and Jesus loves everybody and verses like John 3.16 without fully understanding what the word believes means. Believeth. If you look it up, Strong's Concordance. It's be, being obedient, trusting fully. It's a paragraph. <laughs> it's not one word. So I just wanted to share that with you. And I hope maybe later tonight I will get this up and the other one that I did on Psalm 90. 2 through 94 and I actually have found the notes that I was going to use to make another video a few days ago so I believe my internet will be back up soon and I will be able to upload this and I say God bless you all I plead the blood of Jesus over this video the internet connection and over each and every one of you as well alright bye for now I'll talk to you later.